شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تبارك وتعالى سبحان الذي اسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام الى المسجد الاقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من اياتنا انه هو السميع البصير حدثنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو الصادق المصدوق قال ان احدكم يجمع خلقه في بطن امه 40 يوما ثم يكون علقه مثل ذلك ثم يكون مضغه مثل ذلك ثم يبعث الله ملكا فيؤمر باربع كلمات ويقال له اكتب عمله ورزقه واجله وشقي او سعيد ثم ينفق فيه الروح فان الرجل منكم لا يعمل حتى ما يكون بينه وبين الجنه الا ذراع فيسبق عليه كتابه فيعمل بعمل اهل النار ويعمل حتى ما يكون بينه وبين النار الا ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل اهل الجنه صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين <coughs> this will be the second hadith from sahih al bukhari باب ذكر الملائكة the chapter in the mention of the angels last friday we covered the hadith of miraj that is also known as hadith al isra and it is also known as hadith al miraj and as i mentioned that the hadith that we covered in our last session was not meant to deliver a detailed narr- narration of the story it did not cover all the aspects because many of the aspects that were not included in the hadith that we covered in our last session they are scattered in the books of a hadith narrated by different companions of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as far as the collection of a hadith of miraj is concerned the ulama have concluded that it has reached the status of tawatur in hadith tawatur is the highest status that can be given to a hadith if a hadith is called mutawatir that means it has taken the same importance and same significance as of that of the verse of quran in terms of proof in terms of reliability and authenticity of evidence so it cannot be denied someone who denies a mutawatir hadith is also called a kafir just like if someone denies a verse of quran because all of the quran 
is proven in Tawatur. All of the Quran without the exclusion of any verse holds the same level of reliability and same level of authenticity. Not a single verse of Quran can be denied. Denial of a single verse of Quran will tend to amount to kufr. Similarly, in a hadith, there's one category which earns the same reputation and which holds the same status. And that is the mutawatir hadith. So all the subjects that have been covered in mutawatir ahadith, they must be believed in. If someone denies the existence of such subjects, then that person is very close to kufr. So the hadith of Mi'raj is one of those subjects that has been proven through tawatur. Because a large number of Sahaba have narrated the story and a large group of students of campaigns radiallahu anhum have narrated the story of Mi'raj as well. Another example of that is the ahadith related to the return of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu was salam. Nuzulul Masih. When Isa alayhi salatu was salam will return. So that has been mentioned in so many ahadith, in so many authentic ahadith that it has taken the status of tawatur. The ahadith related to that are also known as mutawatir. That Isa alayhi salatu was salam will return. So no Muslim can ever believe while being a Muslim that Isa alayhi salatu was salam will not return. Believing that he died is, is also against our, our belief, is also against our faith because Quran has refuted that. Quran has explicitly explained وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ That Isa alayhi salatu was was neither killed nor crucified by the, by the people, by his enemies. So, a few things that were not covered regarding Sidratul Muntaha and some other uh, parts towards the end of that hadith, I would like to make I would like to make explanation about that. Sidratul Muntaha was mentioned in our previous hadith in our previous session, and this is mentioned in Quran as well in the Sidratul Muntaha in Suratul Najm Suratul Najm has mentioned some details of the journey of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam in heavens wan najmi idha hawa ma dhalla sahibukum wa ma ghawa wa ma yantiqu anil hawa in huwa illa wahy yuha this is the revelation that was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. ثم دنافة دل فكان قاب قوسين أو أدنى فأوحى إلى عبده ما أوحى ما كذب الفؤاد ما رأى أفتمارونه على ما يرى Imam Tahavi رحمة الله عليه has compiled the fundamental beliefs of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah. It is known as Al Aqidat al Tahawiyya. The creed of Imam Tahawi rahmatullahi alayhi. It is the most comprehensive book on the Aqaid of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah. It covers our Aqaid about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about the Prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about the angels 